Hey everybody. So we're out at the river today and I am thrilled. I don't know if you noticed, but it's it's t-shirt weather today. It's supposed to get almost to 80 today. There's like no wind whatsoever. So yeah, of course, that means we have to go to the river. It feels like summertime today. It's amazing. So we found some good stuff here before. Um, I'm hopeful, but I also have zero expectations, which is usually a good thing. All right, so I've got two things I want to investigate. So first off is this, which I think is going to be a gorgeous Jasper. Oh yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. And then the other thing I wanted to investigate is this right here, which is actually not as pretty as I thought it was. All right. Uh, this is a site where you have to be super, super picky when it comes to the Jaspers because there's just so unbelievably many on this, this bank right here. It's crazy. There's so many Jaspers. I'm not familiar with what I'm looking at yet. I think it's going to be amazing, though, if it's what I think it is. I'm not sure yet, though. Man, what am I looking at? Is that agonized wood? Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, it is. Wow. Yep, look at the grain in there. Wow, that's amazing. Sweet. Heck, yeah, that's a beautiful chunk. All right, so Alexis just found this. Looks like a nice little water line pocket right there. Set this on my agonized wood. Oh, Dante. Then we both spotted this at the same moment, which is a cute little agate. Uh, I just looked over and saw something I wanted to, there it is. Alexis, please don't, that's so wet. He'll try. What is this? Is that Jasper? Uh, yeah, but it's not great. This is actually the reason I stopped. That right there. That's a gorgeous Jasper. Ooh. Wow. The little pocket of fortifications right there. Yeah, it is. That's Wonderful beautiful. color too. Heck yeah. Ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah. All right guys, so I just found something super cool. I'm gonna get wet again. Didn't know what I was looking at at first, but that right there actually be a coral. That's awesome. I'm gonna get a little closer because I think we might be looking at a really nice coral. Focus please, thank you. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. All right, I actually don't know if this is a Jasper or what the heck I'm looking at actually. Whoa. What in the world am I looking at? Now let's turn around so it's in the sun. That is weird. Cause yeah, on the side it looks like wood grain. See that? That's crazy. I'm not familiar with the sort of thing I'm looking at. That's weird. I think it's agonized wood. Whoa. Dang. Yeah, totally agonized wood. Check that out. That's awesome. I love it. Oh, awesome, you guys. Check this out. That is a coral. Getting it wet really quick. Yeah, this is a Syringopora coral, and they're awesome, and I love them. This one seems to be replaced by Chert, so that makes it even better. You guys, so I was just uh, going to take this stuff back to the bag. I took a few steps. Where did it go? I just saw it. There it is. I see the spray bottle, Alexis? Uh, yeah, whoa. look at that. I found that. You don't just get to call dibs on every agate, Alexis. If you love me, <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> don't play the love card. Yeah, look at that. There's so many Jaspers over here. It's crazy. Wow, that's a red. Wow. Wow, that is red. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Check out that baculite poking out. Oh my gosh, it's a bigger rock than I thought it was. Are there any more in there, or is it just you? Hmm, I think I want that. It is mine. Man, that's so funny. I swear, the last like nine hunts, the only thing going through my mind was wishing that the wind would die down a little bit. Today, I'm wishing the wind would pick up a little bit. <laughs> it feels so good. Uh, this is the first time I've been hot outside in months. <laughs> just took a few steps around one of the other corners over there. And look at all these jaspers. Just beautiful. Oh, yay. Shells. Oh, sorry, fly. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that clunk or not. Sorry, buddy, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Should tell you how nice it is out. They're waiting right now. You couldn't pay me to do that last week. Zar being agates. Eh. Yep, there be an agate. A little water line. Pretty amber color. I enjoy it. And I will keep it. Molly's coming. <laughs> oh, look at her go. All right, check that out. 
How good are you? Ooh. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, that's a good mossy agate. Heck yeah. Oh, it's got a big quartz pocket. Whoa, look at all that moss. I didn't even see the best side yet. Yeah, check out all that moss. That is gonna be amazing. What am I looking at? Is that wood? Is that agate? Oh, Floyd. Is that Floyd? Is that Alexis? Sorry. Dang. Your face was just so confused. It was. <laughs> Very confused. Look at that agonized wood. Oh my goodness. That is a little bit of gorgeous. Look at the knot. It has a knot. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, obviously keeping that. That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, Alexis. One sec. I found something. I found... Ooh, look at the color on that baculite. Whoa. Whoa. All right, well, that's obviously going to come with. That's gorgeous. So it? How are your sh how's the shoe process coming, Alexis? Well, she stopped pulling. <laughs> Molly's face. This sucks. I want to roam. Look at this cool thing that I've just discovered. It's actually less cool than I thought it was. Well, we still discovered it. You know what? It actually might be cooler than I think it is. I don't know. We'll bring it with. We'll see. Sometimes Jaspers like that are kind of meh on the outside, and then you cut into them, and they're crazy. Crazy, like Alexis. Ooh. There's some good baculites in this one. I think we'll keep that one. That one will come with. All right, two things. Oh. This is uh, a baculite. Looks, looks like it got cut in half, but oh man. That might be a good one to make cabochons though, because it's got really nice calcite and good sutures. I think I'll keep that one. Was well, this right here, which is a cool Jasper, but I don't know if I want to haul it around with me this whole time. You know what? I'm going to set it right up here. I'm going to set it right here. And you, you have to stay there. Don't run away. You just stay there. All right, well, let's go back and grab the... Wait a second. How did you... Wait. What? I put it by that log over there. Gosh darn it, Rock, you stay put. Stay here. I'm gonna come back for you. I don't think that Jasper's coming back. Think we found an agate? Yes, we did. Nice little band of moss in there. Oh, I love the pattern on the back. I'll get close up to that in a minute. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. All right. I see two things I need to investigate. So one is this, which, oh yeah, that is a pretty dark agate. Heck yeah, moss agate. And then one, two steps farther up. Oh, never mind. I thought that was an agate too. It is not. It is Jaspers. I'm actually not quite sure what I'm looking at. It's so dirty. I'm not. Wait, is that an agate? I thought it was a Jasper, but I think that's actually an agate. Wow, it totally is. That's awesome. <laughs> See the glow? Yep, that's an agate. Cool. Cure, cure. All right, I think I just found a very keeping worthy Jasper. Um, and yeah, I think it's worthy of it. All right, whoa. That is super pretty. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep that. Definitely gonna have to keep that. Check this out, guys. Alexis. What? Ah. Sorry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty water line. Nicely done, Alexis. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh. Well, I have a feeling that's going to be awesome. Ooh. Yeah, I think my feeling was correct. That is a gorgeous Jasper agate. Wow. All right, we're going to get better close-ups back at the shop as always, but man finding some pretty stuff today it's a good day is a good day oh yeah i love finding these so this is a waterline agate that broke along the waterline you can see into the moss really well when they break like that makes uh you know picking your spots to cut like way easier <laughs> oh my gosh you guys all right i had to switch cameras for this one that is so cool get it thoroughly wet first okay so first off this is a piece of banded shirt but on the top, 
Those are all corals. How cool is that? Alright, so I just found these two jaspers. And look at the red. That is just gorgeous. Really pretty. I haven't looked at this one yet, but I have a feeling it's going to be... Oh my gosh, yeah. Equally amazing. Wow, that's so pretty. And then, just as I was picking those up, I uh, looked up ever so slightly. <laughs> Let's check this out. Are you good? Ooh, I think it is a good one. Wow, there's a lot of moss in there. <laughs> when the dogs are monsters, uh, this is what life is like trying to get thumbnail pictures. He just stuck his tongue down the water bottle, so it's his now. I was gonna drink that, but <laughs> I think Sai has laid claim to that now. Okay guys, I just went on a little walk. I should say we just went on a little walk without my camera. So first off, I wanted to show, let's see, let's get these together. Eh, sorry. Three TSAs, absolutely beautiful. Then I found the most green of green jaspers, except the, for the last one. That one was so very green. Beautiful. Then Alexis just found something crazy. That looks like a freaking Fairburn agate. Look at that. Look at the fortification bands. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys. Well, we were about to head back, and then I saw this. I think it has to come with. That's a beautiful jasper. Oh, look at the bands in there. Whoa! That thing is nuts. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, we definitely gotta get a close up of that back at the shop, because that is insane. That is a really cool jasper. Wow. Oh, I got a clip of that. What? I got, did you hear that sploosh? Yeah. It was a beaver. It was a beaver? Yeah. All right, everybody. That was a fantastic hunt, but as you can clearly see, our light is going away. But man, what a good day. We found like fantastic uh, jaspers galore, uh, really, really nice pieces of petrified wood, some beautiful mossy agates, and even bagulites. I didn't show many of the bagulites, but once we get back to the shop, I'll get good close-ups on everything. Oh, and banded shirt. We found lots of banded shirt today, which makes me a happy boy. Anyway, though, yeah, we're going to get back to the shop, get everything cleaned up, and get some good close-ups on everything. My gosh, I'm looking scruffy right now. Oh, that's better. All right, well, let's look at some rocks. All right, so we'll start with fossils. I think I showed this one when I found it. Banded shirt. So it's not even like that crazy of a piece of banded shirt. The cool part is all of the horn corals on top. Focus... Focus, sir. Yeah, there's a bunch of corals on all up in it. It's so exciting. <laughs> also, another reason I love finding the uh, Cretaceous fossils out there is because they prep super quick. I already prepped all the baculites. Really nice calcified one right there. And then on the back side, we've got beautiful sutures on this one. Just absolutely gorgeous. Still need to polish it, but yeah, it's gonna be nice. And then this is probably the nicest baculite that we got. And it's kind of an internal struggle sometimes. Because, you know, you know that some of them are going to have sutures like that. But do you leave the shell and have a beautiful natural specimen? Or do you show off those sutures? Okay, next is petrified wood. Which I think it would be more accurate to call these two pieces agatized wood. Sorry, I'm trying to get it wet, but it's a giant thing. And it's awkward and gangly. Look at this. It has a knot. For starters, it has a knot. I love this petrified wood that comes from that area. It's usually fairly solidified, solidified, and yeah, it cuts beautifully and it looks fantastic. And I love it. It's good stuff. So we'll cut that at some point. Um, and then this one, I think I like even more. Look at that. It has little blonde patches and red streaks. Like what? And it glows a little bit. Yeah, like, it's it's awesome. The end grain is just weird on this piece, though. Like, check that out. How weird is that? Next would be Jasper's. This is a bizarre Jasper. I love it. And I am really, really excited to cut it, because it's, it's just a weird, weird Jasper. 
all that red on the outside. It's almost like purple. It's, it's, it's just strange. I don't know what to make of it. I've never seen a Jasper on the Yellowstone quite that color before. It's gonna be really pretty. Uh, this one's just absolutely gorgeous. Check this out. Look at all the red wispies in there and the yellow. Oh, it's so pretty. I never get tired of Yellowstone River Jaspers. They're just amazing. Then we got this one, which is gorgeous and is going to be amazing when we cut it. Got lots of yellows and reds and whites and clears and quartz pockets and druzy pockets and betroidals and pinks and I could go on. Actually, that's about it. It's so pretty though, I love it. And then this one is probably my favorite Jasper of the day. It's weird. It's weird, y'all. So yeah, you look at it, it's like, yeah, it's a cool Jasper. It's not that crazy though. Then you zoom in. And it's got all this crazy texture. Look at that. And this other side is just crazy. It's got like bands in it. I love it. That is a beautiful Jasper. And as always, lastly, is the agates. Check this out. Beautiful moss. Nice quartz pocket. Even more moss visible on top. Nice bands. Like that's just a nice agate. There's nothing to complain about there. That is a beauty. Then we got this one, which was hiding. Looks like a big bubble. Sorry, I'm getting wet. You can see it's gonna have some beautiful banding. Really nice moss. Really nice moss on this little bottom corner. It's, I actually don't know what to expect from this one. It's gonna be cool. All right, so lastly, this one caught me off guard. I'm gonna play up a clip up here of when we found it. Uh, I kept it on a hunch that it might be an agate, and I'm really glad I did. The thing was so silty and so covered in al algae and grime and stuff that I was not ready for what I found. <laughs> that is a gorgeous agate. Really nice bands. I, I love the orange center pocket. It's just so cool. And again, another testament of why it can be so hard to find bigger agates, especially in certain areas, because yeah, when it's covered in silt and algae, uh, yeah, they're a little, little hard to recognize. <laughs> I think that is gonna do it for this one. Man, what a good day. You just gotta love the Yellowstone, where uh, you can head out and have zero expectations and come home with literally a little bit of everything. I mean, agates, petrified wood, agonized wood, uh, weird wood with jasper, uh, lots of jaspers, uh, fossils, <laughs> both really old in shirts and newer Cretaceous fossils with, uh, you know, calcification and stuff like that. It's just, it's a good place. Let me know which find was your favorite down in the comments and like and subscribe if you think I earned it. So we do this kind of stuff all the time and now that spring is here, we will be doing it a lot. Uh, one more thing before I closed out, two things actually. So uh, when this comes out, I will be in Florida, but I will be getting back soon. So look forward to some cool Floridian hunts coming very, very soon. And secondly, if you are in the Billings area or just in Montana in general, on uh, April 30th and May 1st is the Gem and Mineral Show, which I'm so excited about because last year I was in Florida when it happened. So um, I will be back in time. So uh, it's at the Shrine in Billings, Montana, uh, April 30th and May 1st. It's awesome. There's some amazing rocks and just wonderful people that run it. So yeah, if you want to see some awesome rocks at great prices, check it out. And you might run into me there. I'm definitely going one of the two days. So I <laughs> hope to see you there. Again, though, I think that is going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time.